What's up, Tuneheads? Welcome back to another video. And if you are new to the channel, hi, how's it going? My name's Phil, and this is where we talk about tennis in a less formal way. So if you want to join the Tweenerhead tennis family, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the action, as well as new content that we're posting here on the channel. I am finally back home from Delray Beach, and I couldn't be happier to be home, but I do miss the weather. It's, I don't like being in 30 degree weather um, <laughs> anymore after going to Florida, but it is what it is at this point. Now, today we have a new topic, a new player to talk about, and his name is Jack Sock. Jack Sock has been around and has been on the radar for so many years now, and he really has been in a bit of a decline. And the reason why I'm bringing him up today is probably because the tennis channel made a short video on him recently that got a little bit of criticism i would guess nick kiros quoted the tweet and said that this is a disgrace leave the guy alone when i saw this tweet it made me think of what kind of attention jack sock has been drawing at this point because he he's been recovering from an injury at this point and last year wasn't the best year that he could ever have as a tennis player he only won i think two matches and he was still in the top 20. He didn't even make it out of the first round of any major for that matter, but he still made the main draw because of his ranking that he made because he won an ATP Masters 1000 event in Paris that prolonged him into keeping inside the top 25 for the whole year. And after a year like that, it's really hard to find your rhythm again and it's very hard to determine what these players are actually going through because after a year like that he did find success within doubles he did find success with one of the brian brothers winning two grand slams he won wimbledon and the us open which is fantastic it's not the first time he's won a doubles grand slam too he won wimbledon with vasic pospisil uh years ago but his purpose on the atp tour is not to play doubles his purpose was to play singles to win big tournaments like he did in Paris to win bigger tournaments like a Grand Slam and possibly make bigger pushes in his career. He even, when asked about his career uh, from the New York Times, he even said a quote like this. He even said, if I'm not playing singles and I'm only playing doubles, I'd rather not play at all. Now, that may seem a little harsh to doubles players, but after playing such a lengthy career in singles and your purpose of going pro was to play singles. He turned pro in 2011, and he's been having success ever since, until this past year, these past two years. You can't really judge and expect a lot if he's just going through a little bit of the slump. Now, I'm not trying to defend the guy, I'm just trying to point out the facts of how people are manipulating his image in a sense, or seeing it in a different light, because this guy is still trying to recover from the, probably the worst year he'll have in his career and will eventually bounce back he can't you can't expect him to constantly be at that level and everyone's asking oh when is he gonna be back oh is he gonna make it back into the top 100 you can't expect that much from the guy when he's just having an off year let him recover let him do his thing let him find his way back the only problem with that is is that when you when the tennis channel makes a video asking when you're gonna be back and starts questioning your redemption story why there's no need for that when you have other guys that the tennis channel has completely looked over i mean if you look at donald young and ryan harrison ryan harrison and jack sock are the same age and ryan harrison is not getting the same criticism or the same kind of attention i would say as jack sock is they the tennis channel didn't make a video on ryan harrison asking when he's gonna be back they kind of just let him be and let him do his own thing at this point because they didn't see that kind of success that Jack Sock has. So what? So why are we making videos on Jack Sock and expecting him to do better when Ryan Harrison is trying to make his way and find his rhythm onto the ATP tour as well? Wasn't Ryan Harrison supposed to be the next great American? Wasn't Donald Young supposed to be the next great American? So you can't be a hypocrite when it comes to that kind of attention that you're giving these players. The video that the Tennis Channel posted out on its Twitter also mentioned that players like Andre Agassi that went from single digit rankings to triple digit rankings found their rhythm again and Agassi won a Grand Slam after that after he found his rhythm which is great 
and these are people that he can look up to, but you can't make videos asking when he's going to be back. It, when was the last time that Sam's channel tried to talk to Jack Sock about his recovery? Why are you making videos about whether or not he's going to be back? Have you ever asked him what's going on in his mind? Have you ever asked, like, what's his process? What are you trying to do better to get back? You got to look at the player and you have to look at and you have to talk to him personally about what's going on and ask him how he's doing and how he plans to get back. You can't just make these assumptions and give him ideas of how he's going to get better. That's that's the main difference. Now people are starting to compare him to Karen Kachanov for some reason. I don't know why. Probably because Kachanov is kind of going into a slump himself this year and he's in the top 20 as of right now. So you guys, I want to know from you guys what it's going to be like for Jack Sock in the coming years. Leave a comment down below where he's going to finish in the rankings either this year or next year. I want your guys' opinion. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a big like on this video. Let's try to get this video to 10 likes and make sure you're subscribed to Tweenerhead Tennis so that way you don't miss any of the action here on the channel. If you want to see more behind the scenes content, check out our social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, as well as our website at tweenerheadtennis.com. I hope to see you guys very soon. I hope all of you are well. Thanks, guys.